Hey guys, we are going to do two examples where we multiply a decimal by a three digit whole number. All right, when we multiply these, guess what? We do not have to line up the decimals. If you have been adding and subtracting decimals, you know we have to line up the decimals, but when we multiply, we don't have to. So when I set this up, I'm still gonna write the decimal, but we can kind of ignore it for a second. So I'm going to write it as 6.18 times 514. My decimals do not have to line up, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and multiply this like normal. And like I said, ignore the decimal for a minute. So I'm gonna speed this up, multiply it really fast, and then we'll talk about what to do with the decimal. Okay, so I went ahead and multiplied all of those and then added it all together. And I got this big number, but this is when I need to remember, oh, this was a decimal problem, right? So where does my decimal go? Well, I find my decimal up here and I see that there are two numbers behind it. So I also want two numbers behind it in my answer. So my decimal is going to go right there, leaving me with 3,176.5 two. Okay. Now, if you want to see how to multiply a decimal by a decimal, I'll link a video to that in the corner, but let's go ahead and do one more example. Like I said, at first, we're just going to multiply this and pretend there's not a decimal there. Okay, so once I multiplied that and added it all together, I got this ginormous number. And this is when I need to pay attention to my decimal again. So I go back up here. How many numbers are behind my decimal? One, two, three. So in my answer, I want three behind the decimal. So I end up with the answer, 14,192.0. All right, I hope this helped. I will link a whole playlist with decimal problems if you need them. Thanks.